All right, what's going on guys? My name is Prossy. Welcome back to another video as always. Today's video is going to be a tips video for the Zero RC. So basically any streamers that are going for the Zero RC, obviously as you know, I'm lead streamer. I got promoted. It's pretty sexy. So, you know, I'm just going to be giving you guys a few tips. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Also, Hope you guys enjoy the lights in the back. They look pretty sick. Just saying. All right. Anyways, so there are a bunch of things that you have to do when it comes to streaming if you want to have a good stream. Um, like I say in the last video, these aren't something that you have to do. It's just something that if I were going for the RC, if I were in zero, that I would do to try to join. So uh, one of the main things that it took me a really long time to learn, and it's really hard to do as well, it's just to say if the stream's dead, for example, like if you have like basically yourself in the stream like everyone just did for some reason you still have to talk right because if someone comes in your stream and they just see you not talking dude they're not gonna stay they're gonna leave all right if you want to entertain people you gotta always talk but at the same time don't just say random things that don't even relate to what you're doing like try to keep it on topic and just like try to keep your stream interesting even if there's no one watching so now the second tip is actually to just be yourself um, I see a lot of streamers that try to act like people who they really aren't. I admit, when I first started streaming, I even tried to do that. I tried to pretend to be like other streamers. Like, not like steal their identity or anything stupid, but just like act like how they do in streams. Don't do that. Just be yourself. Because like, just like I said in the other video, honestly, you'll put out the best work if you're just yourself. Because obviously that's when you're the most comfortable. And if you're someone else, like people can kind of tell in a way sometimes. And it's just like not a good thing to do. Honestly, just like be you, do you, do whatever you want. Streaming is all about fun. Like honestly, you don't have to take it serious. It's it's fucking streaming. Like if I can do it, anyone can goddamn do it. So honestly, just like be yourself and just have fun. Like don't don't take it serious. It's fucking streaming. Like just have fun with it. Another tip that's really good is also to be welcoming to your viewers. So like I see some people that like. Their stream, for example, someone comes to their stream, they say, hey, there's someone new to the stream, right? The person will just, like, look at the chat and they'll just be like, hey. If there's a whole bunch of people in your stream, like, they probably won't even know that you're talking to a person in the chat. They'll just think that you're randomly saying hi. Like, like say if, like, someone comes to the stream, for example, like, say my buddy Charlo comes to the stream, I'll be like, yo, what's up, Charlo? Welcome to the stream, homie. How you doing today, dude? Like, you know, like, I'm welcoming. Like, I welcome them. Like, you gotta do that. You can't just, uh, just, like, say one word to them and then that's it, you know? Like, you gotta... You gotta talk to your viewers, alright? That's another thing. That's another tip. Make sure you guys talk to your viewers, alright? Your viewers are there. They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to be friendly. You gotta respect that. You gotta do the same thing for them. You gotta you gotta respect them and talk to them. You know? It's just a whole nice community when you stream. It's not it's not like a YouTube comment, alright? You can't just, like, reply whenever. Like, if they say something, you should respect them and say stuff back, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> another thing, this is more like how your stream should look. Don't have, like, your stream really cluttered with shit. Like, with my stream, I like to keep it, like, fairly clean. But at the same time, I still like to have some extra stuff on it. Like, I see people on, like, their streams that they'll have, like, they'll have, like, one of those overlays where it's, like, a border at the top. And then they have their cam box that, like, is in, like, the middle of the right corner. So, it takes up, like, half the gun if they're playing Call of Duty. So, like, people, like, can't even see, like, where the fuck they're aiming half the time. And then they have, like, a thing at the bottom for a donation goal. They have, like, a recent sub and, like... Another corner, they have a list in another corner. So it's basically like all their streamers is like taken up with shit. Like, honestly, like, in my opinion, all I think a stream should have is like obviously the cam box or face cam. I'm not really a fan of having borders at the top. Some people do it. Right now, I actually have an overlay like that because someone made it for me for the RC. So I'm using it because it looks really cool. I'm personally not a fan of that style though. I still prefer to just have a cam box, but I like it. So I'm using it. I'm trying something new. Other, you guys seem to like it. So that's why I have been using it in my streams and um maybe have like a list i typically have a list in my streams because it shows like what people did and people like to see that so i typically have that in my stream too and um besides that you don't really need anything else another thing that i suggest that you guys do for another look on your stream is um well first off to have good lighting you gotta have good lighting in your streams like you don't want to have it super dark um, I used to always have my window open like all the way so that natural light would come in and then I have a light at the top left corner to turn on when it's nighttime. But I got these color changing lights in the back so that already produces light and people kind of prefer that more. It's a lot, it's a lot cooler 
to see that like a lot of people don't have that in your streams and when they do it looks really cool i think it looks really sick i fucking love it it looks awesome as hell and uh, a lot of people think the same thing so that's why i haven't really been using my other lights um i typically have my room dark and then just had these in the back so it looks really cool a lot of people like them i think it looks a lot better too so you gotta have good lighting that's just one thing that comes to your stream like you need to have good lighting it's probably just as important in youtube videos like especially if you're sitting there for hours and hours watching someone stream like you have to have decent lighting and uh one more thing once again this is just something that i personally prefer a lot of streamers have them it's an intermission screen because honestly if someone's just staring at the exact same thing for multiple hours you're gonna get bored it's just a fact you get bored of staring at stuff for hours and hours on end and uh an intermission screen is really good to like mix that up with your streams like Typically with me, whenever like I finish a match of COD, I switch to my intermission screen. My intermission screen has like my full face cam on, like you guys are seeing right now. It'll have like the chat in the right corner. It'll have like the list. Not too cluttered or anything, but still it's just like a nice thing to have it switched up, you know? A lot of people like that. And it's just a nice thing to have in a stream. It's just an extra bonus to make your stream look better. And uh, honestly, for this last tip, this is honestly probably like the most important thing i also said this at the end of the last video like you need to be motivated when you stream streaming is 200 times harder to grow on than video as you know with youtube the way youtube is you know anyone will sub to you anyone will just watch a video like you'll think that sure like i have four, i have 50 views on a video wow it's amazing like literally anyone can click on your video for a second and then click off and you'll have a view like that's just how youtube works and like with streaming i've gotten like demotivated so many times and i've wanted to stop streaming so many times and that is all the way back to like a month ago when i get zero viewers like honestly for like two months i would have only me and my streams and then like this past month not even this past month just like this past two or three weeks i've gained so many more viewers and so many more supporters i get like 20 viewers a stream when people aren't in school uh when people are in school obviously i get less because they're in fucking school but yeah guys honestly like it's so like hard because like especially with streaming you're sitting there for like hours and like if you're just sitting there doing nothing and talking to no one like it gets really hard to stream and it's like it's really hard but honestly like um the way i did i just forced myself to do it like i just said like you know what every second i don't stream of the day that's a chance i'm missing that someone will come to my stream and that's someone i can't impress to come back again and I want to grow my Twitch huge. I want to be I want to be a Twitch streamer. That's what I want to do. So the more I stream, the more chance I have of someone coming to stream, the more chance I have someone liking it and then coming back for every other stream, you know? So like I just force myself to do it and then as you force yourself to do it more, you get into it more and like obviously I wasn't just forcing myself to do it and not having fun. Like I want to do it. I love streaming. I still do. I've never been bored of it. It's just when I come home from school, I'm lazy as shit and I don't want to do anything. If I just force myself to do it, I'll gain energy, I'll get back into it. And then, you know, it'll be a good stream. And that's just what you got to do when you when it comes to streaming. You got to do that. And honestly, it'll work out in the end. Because, like, if you want it, you'll get it. That's that's what I say to myself. Like, it's a, it's like a lyric from a song. And that's honestly, like, one of the best things I've ever heard that I go by. Like, it's like, if you need it, you'll make it. That's basically it. So, like, if you really want it, something, and you really need it, and you really want it, you'll get it. Like, you will work for it until you get it. It's just how life works. Like honestly just grind like honestly like just like my bio like when i say the grind don't stop it literally does not fucking stop like people call me the definition of grind because i make videos i stream i do all this fucking shit i suck a lot of dick see i'm fucking grinding out here okay i actually don't suck dick so don't fucking say that and also guys as you guys know i do stream daily so if you guys ever need anything or you guys ever want more tips or like you just need my opinion on anything you can feel free to come to my stream and ask me i'm always down like I say I want to be the best leader I possibly can. Like, honestly, that's what I want to do for Zero. I want to be the best leader I fucking can be. So, honestly, if you guys ever need anything, just come to my stream and ask me, bro. I got you guys. Besides roster spots, okay? I'm not fucking sweets from L7, all right? I'm not selling roster spots. But, hey, guys, hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Um, also, feel free to come to my streams anytime, as I said. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, best of luck on the Zero RC. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Phase up.